everyone. Advocacy is an important component of the College of Family Physicians of Canada's work. And today, I want to update you on our ongoing efforts to improve access to care in rural Canada. We know that individuals who live in rural areas often face challenges in accessing timely care. When I refer to rural Canada, this means communities in rural and remote areas and those that are distinctly or predominantly populated by Indigenous people. In late February, the College and the Society of Rural Physicians of Canada co-hosted an important event in Ottawa called the Summit to Improve Healthcare Access and Equity for Rural Communities in Canada. The summit brought together key stakeholders to discuss 20 recommendations our joint task force developed based on a series of consultations. Organized into four main themes or directions, the Rural Roadmap for Action aims to reinforce the social accountability mandate of medical schools, implement policy interventions that align rural medical education and rural health care, establish practice models with timely access to rural health care delivery, and develop a national rural research agenda. The summit was well attended and included participation from educators, government officials, Indigenous leaders, and representatives from the Royal College, the Canadian Medical Association, and the Canadian Nurses Association. I'm pleased to note that the Federal Minister of Health, the Honourable Jane Philpott, attended the summit and gave the opening address. She applauded the goal of equity for all. Dr. Philpott said all Canadians should respond to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls for action, which include addressing the inequities in health care that Indigenous people experience in Canada. Dr. Philpott also spoke about the importance of fostering collaboration between key stakeholders in rural health. In her address, the question and answer period that followed, she also spoke of the importance of capitalizing on new technologies such as telemedicine, on the importance of paying attention on the delivery of maternity care close to home, and on the importance of rural research. In 1999, the CFPC released a major report with recommendations on the core elements needed in undergraduate and postgraduate education for rural family medicine in Canada. Since that report, we have seen greater numbers of Canadian-trained medical graduates choosing to practice in rural areas, more exposure to rural training included in all undergrad and postgrad programs in Canada, and the development of rural-specific streams for family medicine training. So those are some areas of success that we want to continue to build on. The ongoing challenges we're working to address involve improving the recruitment and retention, addressing the lack of infrastructure, and expanding the educational resources available to support rural practice. Stay tuned for more activity in this important area. In the meantime, I invite you to learn more about the Rural Roadmap for Action on our website. The link to a summary of the four directions is provided below. Until next time, take good care.